were called to be a part of a lot of little miracles that had to happen to get this far. We just need one more. Welcome back to The World Over. She was the first woman in TV history to executive produce two primetime dramas simultaneously. As the producer and head writer of Touched by an Angel, she guided the show through nine seasons, drawing an audience of 25 million viewers every week. Tonight she joins us to talk about combining faith with great storytelling and her new made-for-TV movie for the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries channel, Signed, Sealed, Delivered, The Impossible Dream, which premieres Sunday, October 4th. Here's my exclusive interview with Martha Williamson. Tell me about this new Signed, Sealed, Delivered movie, The Impossible Dream. This one concerns a POW, a female POW. Tell yes. me the story. Yeah, you don't see a lot of POWs on Hallmark. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of the great things about Sign Seal Delivered has been that slowly but surely we've been expanding you know, the, the messages and the stories that we've been telling. Mm -hmm. And Hallmark was wonderful. As a matter of fact, when I came to them about an idea about a female soldier in mm -hmm. um, Afghanistan, they not only embraced the idea, they said, let's do two movies about it. So we did... Um, um, the first movie was basically the, one of the stories I've always wanted to tell, mm. which is we, we talk so much about the sacrifices that are made abroad and we forget about the sacrifices that their families are making at home. Right. So I said, let's talk about that first. Show what it's like to, to believe that you've lost your, your daughter, your mother, your mm -hmm. sister, your, and, and how do you carry on? And, it was, it was fascinating to me. I, I, I was able to talk to families who were you know, military families, yeah. whose fathers and grandfathers and brothers and sisters and uncles had all served. Yeah. And I was so moved by the courage of these folks. You know, 1% of, of our country defends the rest of us. It's amazing. It's amazing. And they do it with such courage and such grace. And you spent a lot of time researching this particular movie. I mean, we you did. were here in Washington. You mm -hmm. connected with uh, a, a number not of only people. military families, uh -huh. but experts and officials. Experts. We spoke with people at the Pentagon. We spoke uh -huh. with people from the Department of Defense. We spoke uh -huh. with people who didn't even want us to say that we'd spoken to them. You know? <laughs> and what's the through line on this but, story? Well, the through line is that we, we create a brand new um, self-standing story but it, it carries on the, the, the mystery of this woman and what happened mm. to her and where did she go. And, the, and it is the impossible dream because it seems so impossible that this woman mm. might ever be found. As a matter of fact, everyone believes she's dead. But mm. we have, um, I think the biggest challenge is that it's such a, a serious um, emotional story and yet you have these funny little postables going to Washington DC for the to help Rita in the Miss Special Delivery Pageant <laughs> and so we're constantly balancing the up you yeah. know the, and the, the, the light comedy with the, the with this real drama yeah. and just to set the stage for people sign sealed delivered started as a series mm -hmm. and now mm -hmm. it's a series of films yes. on on the Hallmark yeah. Mystery Channel and tell me w w how that has changed your storytelling. These are a group of people who are really detectives in some ways. They're postal detectives. Uh -huh. uh, introduce the concept as you first saw it to people who might not be familiar with the show. I thought it was originally going to be a, a series where every week we'd have sort of a little arc between our characters and slowly but surely they might start falling in love. And you know how a, a regular series is. You, yeah. you drop off and what'll, what'll happen next week? Right. And we did that for 10 episodes, but we found that there were so much to tell because we people were falling in love with our characters but they were also falling in love with the the stories about the letters mm. and so basically we just said we need more time and oh. Hallmark gave it to us and they put us on the movies and mystery channel right. and now we can tell whole movies and I get to write write them which is so oh. such a joy so you don't have you know, a full I, staff I don't have you a full do writing yourself. staff I get to mm. write each one, and, and I'm up there for the shooting, and I don't have to be separated. Because lots of times mm. when you're doing a, a series, yeah. you have to be writing and somebody else is shooting. And yeah. 
I can be there and, and, and get my little fingers in it. Well, you can certainly <laughs> feel it. I mean, these characters yeah. have real lives, and there's a depth to them. The last Thank movie you. was very moving. We, we watched it as a family. Mm -hmm. And it was about your, your main character, Oliver, who, right. who's kind of the leader of the, uh, the, the postal detectives, uh -huh. and uh, he coming to terms with his oh, own better. story. With yeah. his own identity. And mm -hmm. every show will have a theme. And um, the one of this, the impossible dream that's coming up, really is about forgiveness and is about courage, and, and is about balancing the light and the dark. Um, that one was about. Um, we had Gregory Harrison starring yes. as as the father, uh, Oliver's father, and Oliver puts all of his heart and soul and, and self identity into being um, from this long, long line of postal workers all the way back to Benjamin Franklin's <laughs> brother-in-law, <laughs> and and suddenly he discovers he is in fact not an O'Toole. He is not a blood relative, and it mm. it throws him for a huge loop, and he has mm. to figure out who he is now and his faith has been shaken but he realizes of course that his faith is in a lot more than than a last name and yeah. he really does seek God's guidance and God's um, grace to forgive his dad for not telling him. These are very personal to you in many ways. I yes, mean, they I know are. that character mm -hmm. Oliver is kind of loosely based on your father. That's right. That's and, right. And, and some of these storylines mm -hmm. intersect with your own life as That's well. That's right, and I found out um, around uh, 30 years old that my beloved, darling, biological father was in fact not my biological father. Oh my God! And so that was such a shock. And um, you know, when you're ready to make a movie about that, here we'll come back and talk. Yeah, about yeah, yeah. It. But but nevertheless, the bottom line was by being deeply rooted and grounded in the Word at that time, and knowing that forgiveness, you know, through Christ mm -hmm. is available to all of us. Yeah. Um, it was just like that, and everybody got forgiven. And I thought I got the best of both worlds here, mm. and I wouldn't be here if something strange hadn't happened. You know, God can turn anything to good to those who are called according to His purpose. Yeah. And, that, and that's what you see in all these stories. Mm -hmm. a, there is a gentleness, even when you're dealing with things that every family in some way deal with, loss, yeah. betrayal, yeah. upsetment, mm -hmm. yeah. all of these little moments in time. But you deal with them in a gentle way, a tender way almost in, the, in this story. How does that relate to your personal faith? You see this as almost a reflection, and they're letters. You see this as having a biblical connection. Absolutely. How Absolutely. So? We have, you know, it, there's a line in the show that's coming up, Impossible Dream, where Oliver is saying, uh, his friend Shane says, did we do the right thing? Should we have gotten involved? Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, I believe we were called to be part of a lot of little miracles, mm -hmm. you know, to, to serve God's purpose. And I love that you know, if in another show somebody had discovered a shocking secret about their family, you might see them go out and, and turn into a vampire or go <laughs> shoot somebody. Or, or a superhero. Know, yes, but, but the really, truly heart-to-heart, -heart painful, heart-breaking things that happen in families mm. are not as dramatic um, or mm. dramatically played out. They, 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 your heart gets broken, you have to work it through, and, and you have to do it tenderly if, it's going to, if you're going to save your family, if you're going to, to save your relationships. And that's what people finally relate to, and I think that's what they love about Signed, Sealed, Delivered. There was a line that you shared with me earlier, uh, and it, it's in this movie. Mm -hmm. Uh, the world is a very complicated mm -hmm. place, and it can sometimes get ugly. What's yes. the rest of that? The world's a complicated place, it can sometimes get ugly, but, oh, you're going to make me cry now, <laughs> and I didn't even deliver the line. Yeah. It was... Um, but you wrote but, it. But, but I wrote it. But it was... But, but that is why the things that are good and kind and honest and joyful must be fought for. Mm. And that's why we honor those who fight. Mm. And that was the intention of this next movie, to honor those who fight. Who do you write for? When you sit down, I mean, mm. we all write for a particular audience. When I'm writing a children's book or I'm writing biography, I write with a particular audience in mind. Who do you write for, given the broad nature of mm -hmm. your, your potential audience? That's a great question. 
because if you think about Hallmark, sometimes you wonder, is it families who sit down? Nobody sits down mm -hmm. together to watch a TV show anymore. Right. Somebody's up with their iPad and another mm -hmm. person's DVR in something and somebody is watching and you know, clicking through. Mm -hmm. How do you get them all together? I write for the one person, usually it's the woman in the family. Huh. But I write for the one person in the family who's going to put it on pause and say, you guys have got to come down here and see this. Mm. I write for that person the influencer in the who house. wants to share it, mm -hmm. who wants to share it and sees themselves. Yeah, well, I was telling you, we, we watched the last few movies uh, together as a family. Mm -hmm. And great. it's nice that you can have something that even if they deal with issues that are real, mm -hmm. you can then talk about them. And it's not jarring. It's not something, you know, obscene or horrible or shocking that's going to make everybody leave the room. Uh, you can take it in. It's a fun ride. There's real humor in it. The characters are likable. There's a there's a, a concept at play. There's a neat high concept at the there's center. There's always of it. and we always have a twist, but and we always have a you know a a, a message or a theme that is yeah. played out in the 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 letter of the week and also played out with our characters. They're yeah. so dear and so innocent in so many ways. I mean, Oliver yeah. is a gentleman who's trying to remain a gentleman in a very ungentlemanly like world. Yeah, but. Finally, and, and when you look at this show, I, I would hope that you would just be able to turn it off and keep the, the, the feeling going that there's mm -hmm. still people out there who really care, who really want to encourage you, mm -hmm. you know, who really want to challenge you to, to, to see a, a group of people who are people of faith, yeah. living their lives, not beating anybody over the head with it, but showing the, the fruits of their, of their faith. Before I let you go, how is it different writing for this, this band of people <laughs> helping others uh -huh. than it was writing about a band of angels oh. helping other people? Oh, very different. And you know why? Because we've been talking about faith. Angels mm. don't have faith. Mm. They don't need it. No, they already, they already they know. know. Mm. They know, and how much more blessed are those who have not seen and believe. And we watch these people working out their, their faith with fear and trembling every week, and with great, great humility. I think that's the ultimate thing. You know, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and He will lift you up. And at some point in every show, they do that, and we hopefully are humbled too. And when you turn that show off, you'll be lifted up. Well, it. it's dear, uplifting programming that is also challenging yeah. and authentically yeah. funny, which is a rare thing to find. Let's admit it. It's a very rare thing to find in this landscape. Martha, it's always Bless a joy you. and a pleasure. So much fun. We'll Thank see you. you next time. I hope so. Thank you.